everybody. It's Linda. Thanks for stopping by today. I hope you're having a terrific day. Um, the last couple of days I've been talking about anger, and I received a message yesterday asking what they can do with all of this anger that's pent up. I mean, of course you can only um, get it out so much, uh, and then it, it just seems to slide back down. That's kind of gross sounding, isn't it? I'm sorry. Um, but at any rate, anger can be used into a positive. Your um, deep-seated anger can be used as a positive. I'm going to tell you a short true story that this happened with a patient. This individual had, uh, this woman uh, was divorced and a single mom. She had full custody of her child. The child lived with her and as a fully grown adult was still living at home. Now, this mom had years of anxiety issues, um, medications, hospitalizations, and so on and so forth. And it was just known that she was pretty much a nervous wreck. <clears throat> well, there was a day when she was at home with her fully grown son who was freeloading off of her all of those years. Um, she decided that she really needed to get to the hospital that day. She was just beside herself. And they got along okay. She put up with whatever he did and, and never confronted him. She was not a conf confrontationalist. She just let him do more or less what he wanted to do. So actually, he controlled her. So when she became very anxious this particular day, the son offered to gladly, not gladly, but he appeared to be quite pleased that he was going to drive her to the hospital. Well, she sensed this. And before they got too far, she had him take her back home to pick up something. When she, when they got there, she went into the house and she was trying to calm herself down because she was really having an, a, a blowout, massive panic attack. But it, something just gave her an aha moment. So her, eventually her son came in as she's trying to calm herself down. And he was, come on, let's go. Let's get to the hospital. Well, bottom line of this story is her fully grown, her fully grown adult son, she did confront him that very moment. She realized where all of her years of anxiety came from and all of her pent up anger. So she threw him out. She threw him out of her house to support himself to get himself a job and she didn't hold back it was over and she followed through with it and he was out he literally had to leave with a, a small bag and go go support himself he had plenty of money um, because he never he didn't rent anywhere she didn't have it buy anything she bought everything for him so that is how she got her aha moment something inside of her clicked and she realized where all her anger came from and it was from him so she did something she had never done before and she got herself together and took action and she threw the guy out now I'm not saying you have to separate your family situation but you do have to find out what the seed of your anger is and stop covering it up with medications because there's a reason why you're angry and all of your anxiety medications are just a band-aid so go find out what's making you angry what go find out what's making you upset and confront it and you will be amazed at the cleansing feeling of peace that you'll have that's how you do it not doesn't work for all cases disclaimer this happened for this individual but I don't know what's going on in your situation. So think about that. That's my message for today. Went on a little long because the story, although a little long, was very, very important. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.